Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome back to Follow a Sketch February for the last time this year. So we are on February the 29th, day 29, we have made it. This is today's sketch which is a bit different but I really like it. We have got all of these rectangles which could be different patterns, same patterns, washi tape, postage stamps, pictures, it could be all sorts, you could take that in whatever direction you want. We have one photo and a title going upwards with some journaling in the top right, some enamel dots, nouveau drops, etc. here and here. We have a bow which is going across the page, which I quite like. I did debate doing it. Not very good at tying bows. Don't know if that'll happen. We shall see. And then a circle, which is poking in there. I intend on sticking quite close to this sketch. We'll see if I actually do, but I do think I will. One difference is it is a 4x6 photo. It says it there. I am using a 4x4 photo. This sketch is from Susan Stringfellow and you can find the link and all of the details in the Facebook group linked down below along with Sandy's shop and YouTube channel and the playlist for everybody else playing along. So this is the sketch. I've got all my stuff. Let's see what we can do for the final time this February. So it is a Disney layout. Of course we had to finish on a Disney layout for Follow a Sketch February and that is what we are doing. I have two possible contenders for our background. We have two Vicky Butin mixed media backgrounds. We've got this blue one with the stars and this red one that is sort of kind of ombre kind of effect where we've gone a bit pinky, deeper red and dark red going down in big blocks. I'm thinking this one this way so that it's not too full on but I'm not sure yet I think that's going to be a last minute decision I think I'm going to put them there for a moment we have some puffy stickers these were on a little cute set that Kathy sent me from her trip for New Year a couple of years ago I think got a couple of adhesive brads and a chipboard sticker which will not stick obviously and then we also have some paper stickers from a sticker book which will not stick obviously we've got this 3d sticker which is like super duper whooper 3d and it even has a bit of glitter on it this is from paper house productions and a couple of other 3d stickers as well we have this three uh, die cut layered piece which is the four icons of the Disney parks Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom because my photo is simply this it is going to be another sort of title page, divider page, breather page so it is the icons of the park along with the years that they opened so Magic Kingdom in 71, Epcot in 82, Hollywood Studios in 89, the year I was born, and Animal Kingdom in 98. I really love this. It is a piece of artwork that I have taken a picture of whilst we were in Disney. So that is the photo that I'm documenting. Got some enamel dots because there are some enamel dots on the sketch. <laughs> and we've got some ephemera and acrylic, not much. Got some Mickey heads and a half Mickey head and an outline. And what else do we have? We've got a couple of circle pieces, a camera, a balloon, a globe and a cassette. So not much at all in terms of ephemera or embellishments either. And then we have got paper which I'm going to create our little rectangles from. Now, looking at the sketch, there are five going down. So I am assuming they are two inches because there is a gap between them. Not very big either. So I think they're two. Now, they're not two by two because they're not square. And I don't think they're one inch because it covers more than half the page. So I'm going with two inch by one and a half inch for my rectangles. 
don't know if that's right, but that's what we're doing. And just because we're cutting quite a lot, I'm going to bring in my Fiskars for this. So in terms of what paper I have got, I've got this photo play, which does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but I, I quite like that. And we've got this plaid or the cameras. This is from the original Day Out collection. We've also got this one from that very same collection. We've got an Echo Park paper, a Amy Tangerine paper, a Echo Park Wish Upon a Star paper, a couple of Lollipop, oh no, that is, let me see, that's DLS Designs, as is that, as is that, and this also has the slight sheen to it. So they're DLS designs and then a couple of Lollipop Box Club papers. So we need, I believe, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 rectangles. So that's what we're going to get done first. So let's get cracking now. I am going to duplicate some of them. Obviously we're not going to have 25 different ones. So what I'll probably do, <coughs> excuse me, is... Let's see, so we're going to have two inch, which, why am I struggling to find two inch there? So we've got two inch, so I'm going to cut a few two inch strips first. There we go, so let's get these cut. I am keeping all of these pieces as well. Um, let me see how big two inch is. Oh, as if by magic, that is one of them. Um, is this two inch already? I believe it is. Let's see. Yes, so that's already two inch. Then we have got the red polka dot. We have got the Echo Park stripe which I do love because it has the traditional, traditional Disney colours. Then we have the Echo Park Dot, which I like for the same reason. Then, now on the reverse of that, and for those following along in the Snuddy Saga, I have a different one on now. Because this is now night time. <laughs> um, on the back of that, we do have the words, but I won't be using them. Then we have the photo play star paper <clears throat> and the photo play camera and or plaid. And then finally, we have our Amy Tangerini paper. And this is just for, I don't know why I put this in actually, to be honest. To have something that wasn't Disney, I guess. So we've got that, and I will keep that because that's a good tucker, tucker piece. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Now we may need a few more pieces, so I will keep these nearby. But for now, we have our two inch strips of patterns. So, let's see what we're going to do. So, I'm going to cut... So, we want these to be, what did I say, 1.5 inch. So, I'm going to cut two of these ones. Can somebody keep count for me? <laughs> um, now, these are going to be the wrong way because I cut that the wrong way. So I need to cut another one of these 1.5 inch. And then we need to do, no, I've done that wrong again. What am I doing? <clears throat> so we need these ones to be two inch, but that way. And then 1.5 inch there. So I'll cut a couple of the camera side, like so. And then I will just cut another one 
for the plaid as well. Then we have got our stars, which I am going to do a couple of. Now I'm actually going to do more than a couple, because of course, depending on where I actually cut, we are going to get a different pattern on this one. So I've cut four, so we'll therefore have four different patterns. Then we've got our bubble from Echo Park which again is going to be different depending on where you cut it so I'll cut four of them then we have our Echo Park stripe just a couple of them our red and white polka dot which is of course classic Disney because of mini then we have our DLS Designs Snacks. Now, I don't think that's going to work. Let me try it. So we'll cut a couple of them. No, they don't really work, but I will use the red side, which has the diamonds and stars. Then we have our yellow lollipop paper, lollipop box club paper. I'm going to cut, mm, let's do four of them, and that bit can go in the bin. Then we have DLS Designs Stripe, I'm going to cut three of them, because I can also use the fireworks on the other side. And then we have the Lollipop Box Club chevron which I am going to cut I might as well do three of them just to get them used and I'm going to get rid of these scraggly pieces okay let's see what that has left us with, I do apologise, I've just set Alexa off, I'm not sure how, why, but it's all, all kicking off with Alexa. Okay, so we've got loads of our patterns now, so it's just a case of deciding our background and getting them stuck down, which I'm not going to do all of on camera, because that'll bore you. Um, I think the blue, I'm just laying these out now just to see what it will all look like. And I think blue is the better option. So let's do it. So I'm going to cut the branding strip off. <clears throat> well, it's from a pad, so it's not a branding strip, but you know what I mean? And then decide on the orientation. I want this bit to remain, so we're going to stick our squares, rectangles on this side. So let's make a start with our rectangles. First off, I am going to stick the top, the bottom, and then this side, just so I can get the spacing sorted. So the easiest way I find is to decide on the space. Now, of course, I totally get that there will be people that won't be happy to eyeball this and will need to get the T-square ruler out and measure, and that is A-OK. -okay. There is nothing wrong with that, guys. I'm not one of them. I am going to eyeball it, and that's just the way I do it, purely because... I don't really have the patience, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that, that's just me. But if you need your T-square ruler and you need to measure them out properly, then you go for it and you embrace that. Now, weirdly, there is a bigger gap. So I think these probably should have been 2.1 or something, but that's okay. That's why I always try and get the spacing sorted on the first row and the first column just so then I have a rough idea of where we're going with it. So let's pop that one about there. 
And then for the middle, I think we'll have an Echo Park stripey. Which is going to go about there. So I do need to move these two up slightly. <clears throat> so now that we've got our middle one in, I know the gap that we need to have top and bottom which makes it easier to place them in so that is our first column down so this is probably going to be the most time consuming for me this is the easiest way of doing it I'm sure there is easier ways and if you can find an easier way, rock it, go for it. I don't blame you. Um, but for me, I am going to do it this way. I am going to do the top row with you guys. And then I will go off and do the rest off camera. Just because it's going to become quite repetitive. So I'm going to pop a photo play camera. DLS Designs Stripe. Then we're going to have a Echo Park polka dot. So I don't mind repeating. So we will have the same pattern make an appearance more than once. And I, that that's, that's absolutely fine. Um, I probably will have to cut some more rectangles. Again, absolutely fine. Um, the only thing I will avoid is having the same pattern next to each other. So I will make sure that they are not next to each other, at least. So that is where I am at with mine. Now they look bigger this way and smaller this way. But hey, it's fine. So... It looks to me like it's about a third, not two thirds, I don't know. I'm happy with that. We're going to go with that. That's fine. So then it's just a case now of repeating. So now we know the space we need this way and this way. It's a lot easier for me to just follow and eyeball top and bottom and sides and just go with it and see how you get on. Decide where you want the different colours, see where you want the patterns, and just, yeah, just enjoy that process. So as you can see, it does get a lot quicker now that we know where things are going. Because, as I say, you can just replicate. I'm just going to take this one up to put a bit of adhesive in that corner. That is winding me up a little bit. There we go. Then down here, I feel like we need a bit of colour. Let's have one of these. So it's very red, yellow focused. Our blue is being pulled in from the background, of course. I feel like something's missing. I'm not sure what. Any ideas? Not sure. That's a bit bizarre. Um, so it's just quite repetitive really but it's not fiddly or anything so I don't mind the repetitiveness of it and it will quickly come together to be fair it's not like it's like I say it's not fiddly or anything like that so once you've got your rectangles down the layout's going to come together pretty quickly so let me go and finish the other half of this and I will be right back with you so that is all our rectangles down, guys. Um, don't know why I got all excited then. I do apologise. I've used them all twice, mostly. Apart from the firework, the Amy Tan writing, and I'm sure there was another one. No, just those two, which I've only used once. And the yellow star and bubble circle whatever you want to call it i've used three times the rest have been used twice and i love how it looks actually it's definitely bigger than the sketch it should have been 2.1 by 1.3 i think 
but I'm happy with it and we are going to leave it like that. You will notice that we have had Washi magically appear. Let me just refocus. We've had Washi reappear because I thought rather than do the ribbon, I am going to do some Washi. Why not? What I really like as well on the sketch, there is some stitching. Don't know if you can see it, but it's just at the end of both of them. I'm not going to stitch, obviously. If you want to teach me to stitch, I'll happily accept. Come over to Manchester and we'll have a stitch in time. But I thought we could add a staple or something. So we may do that. So next thing, I am going to add the washi tape. So it's going to go over... Well, let's decide actually. So on the sketch the photo stretches from the bot top of this one to the bottom of that one obviously mine isn't going to because it's a smaller photo so i'm going to put my photo about here i think because then this can go sort of on there like that that was my thinking then our title can sort of come at the top mm, no our title will go there i think so, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we will put our washi, I think we'll put it in this gap just here like it is on the sketch. I need to decide which one to go for. I'm not going to go for the blue because of the blue background. I'm not going to go for the all red because we've got two, three reds there. So it's between these. I quite like the idea of this one because it's got the Disney icons. This is a Sandy Lion official licensed washi. And I do quite like the idea of that. So that is a possibility. Let's just stick that there. And I do love this washi tape. This is a Simple Stories Say Cheese washi tape. I think this is Say Cheese 4. Don't quote me on that. I do have all the washi tape from Say Cheese at the park, but I haven't pulled them in. So that's that one. This one is just a polka dot. We've got quite a lot of polka dots already, so let's leave that. And then we've got a Queen & Co stripe, which is red, black and yellow with some white. So that would work as well. However, that is then going to clash with the red and the yellow so i'm gonna leave that one out so it's between these two which do you guys think no can't hear you i think we're gonna go with this one i think that is the one that's going to win it today so let me just lift that up and then let's get that on i've just pulled it up and ripped it so that's gone in the bin let's start again what i am gonna do is roughly rip it and we're gonna start just above the rectangles so about there and come to just to the end of our page like so there we go i am happy with how that looks my washi new storage method organization um disney has its own section which i will show you when we get round to the craft room tour which i know a lot of you have been messaging about and it is coming i just want to make sure i've finished it before i do it then we are going to add a staple I've gone slightly at a wonk, and of course that one didn't work. Why would it? Let's go. Oh, what is going on? I think it's because I'm going over the pattern paper. There we go. Just get rid of those staples. So if you can see, I don't know if you can, but I've gone at a wonk, and it slightly goes over the washi i like that it's just a very slight touch now in terms of matting our layout our not our layout our photograph i'm not going to mat it 
The reason being, we've got a lot of patterns on here. We've got a lot of colour going on. And I think it would be too much. We don't need white. So I don't think I'm going to do it. We've already got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different patterns going on. I think we've got enough. Then I'm going to put this here. So we are going to lose this rectangle, but that's okay. So that's going to go about... In fact, I'm going to come up slightly. So this rectangle is actually lost. And then I'm going to place this die, layered die cut, which is available on Etsy. If you'd like to know more, let me know. I'm going to place that about here. So our washi is still peeking through down here, which I like. But the focus is very firmly on that and it reiterates what we are looking at in the photograph so <clears throat> excuse me let's move on to some embellishing so far we have stuck to the sketch pretty well so i am thinking what about if we have this circle which I am going to create a semicircle out of, and then we are going to layer upon this. So that will look just right here. If I can just tuck it in under there. Why do the little things wind you up, guys? Is there anybody else like that, or is it just me? So that's going to go about there. Then let's remind ourselves what else we've got going on over here. Now we've got this, which I love, and I do want to use that. <clears throat> I'm thinking, mm, I don't know. What am I thinking? We also have this. Okay, let me get this title on. I am going to put the title where it is in the sketch because I love the way that looks. So that is going to go here. So happy to get that used. But I do have another one, obviously. So we've got Magical Memories as our title there. Then it's a case of seeing what else we want to use. As ever, I probably won't use everything I've pulled in. And I am okay with that. I don't consider that to be an issue. I'm going to add a Mickey acrylic head to the Mickey half head here. Just because I can. And then what we're going to do is up um, here, up here, down here. Rather than add anything like enamel dot. I thought it would be fun to add acrylic Mickey heads. Obviously, it's hard to get Disney stuff because of copyright and stuff. That's why I've never done flair with Disney Direct. I would love to, and I've had it's the most requested flair design ever. And don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love to. I've done some for myself, like personal, personal use. But... It's just not worth the risk of doing anything, even a mouse head, Disney come after you, it's copyright, it, it, you, it's just not not good. Um, I don't think stealing copyrighted stuff is cool. Um, so it's hard to get embellishments because Disney rarely seem to license craft supplies, or if they do... It's just so extortionate that the smaller companies, that we just can't afford it. Um, so obviously for us scrappers, it makes it almost impossible to get embellishments. So I'm glad to have these. I'm going to put them like that, which might be a little bit quirky, controversial, but I like it. And it's the only way they'll fit in. 
So we're going to start with the red, which we're going to put here. Then we're going to go with the yellow, which I am going to put upside down here. And then we're going to go with the black, which I'm going to put here. I love that. Love that. Okay. Now, I do still have more acrylic. Probably not going to use it all, and that's a okay. I'm not sure I like this bit here, if I'm honest. Um, I'm going to pick that acrylic piece up. And I'm sort of going to cover that whole area, to be honest. just don't like it at all. It's a waste of that circle and that sticker, but it's okay. I will survive. And I'm going to put the globe there instead. Yeah, much better. Much better. Now, apart from some journaling and enamel dots up there, we're finished on the sketch, really. We have stuck pretty pretty close to it actually I am impressed and happy with that what we could do with this yellow Mickey head is actually tuck that in down here maybe as an addition to our title cluster and then I might add another black one just for good luck if I can get the protective film off I have noticed that my last few days of follow sketch February have been long so I noticed that the first few I can't talk first few videos were quite long then we seem to get down to 15 20 minutes for most of them and now we're back up to half an hour 40 minutes no no idea why I think it's because I've tried to keep more of the content in, so I do apologise that you've had to listen to me waffle on. So we're going to do a bit of layering here, guys. We're going to layer the cassette onto the camera, which I am okay with because you can still tell it is a camera. Then behind that, I am going to layer in the, <clears throat> excuse me, just going to take out these inner parts, there we go, then we're going to layer in the viewfinder, just put them there, so I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive there, obviously it's a sticker so let's pop that there. Again, I've covered a little teeny tiny bit of that bit that says magic, but you know what it says. Pop a star in. So we're building up a little cluster for ourselves. And then I'm going to add in this balloon. Chipboard balloon. We're going to just add in slightly under the cassette. Sort of coming in at the top like that so we've got ourselves a little cluster going on here which i think we will add as an extra off sketch element up here just because i can just to give a little bit of extra interest up there we're not going to use these acrylic pieces or this circle die cut and we're not going to use all of these stickers, but I will use a couple more. I'm not going to use these ones or them. I don't think we're going to use this. Nope. <clears throat> we will use this piece, which is like the Mickey design on a foam sticker. I'm going to add that in over here. Just down, down here. Then on the back of this, what have we got? We've got these stickers, which I did want to use. But I feel like I would be using it for using its sake now. 
Although actually, I quite like the idea of adding them into the rectangle. How cool is that? Yes. So I am using them, and not for using them safe. I think that's quite cute actually as a little addition and we could even do that with our floral we could add that there yeah I like that what do you guys think I like it and then I'm gonna add the two brads which is a castle and a red and white polka dot we're gonna add to this rectangle down here so we're utilising the rectangles and we're looking at them as little areas on their own. So the only two stickers we have left, well, we've got these, but they keep flying about everywhere. If they're not careful, they are going to go in the bin. So we've got five stickers left, which is the <coughs> spinner. And the little tassels. So I'm just going to fold that over like so and pop that in my tub for a future layout. Then to finish us off, we're just going to use a couple of enamel dots and it's time to call it done. And not only that, it's time to call it done on Follower Sketch February. I honestly can't believe I've actually managed to keep up, especially with how busy this month has been with work and with flair and with health and with all of that stuff. I am quite surprised but pleased with myself. Um, it is largely down to you guys because your encouragement, likes and support, it really does genuinely mean a lot so thank you to each and every one of you for watching and being here that is done so for the last time here is a close-up of day 29 of follow a sketch february 2024 and here is our sketch down here which I think is safe to say, for me, I've followed quite closely. I've got all the ingredients of this sketch and then we've just added our own touch to it with the embellishments in the rectangles. But by and large, we have definitely stuck to it. I hope you like the end result layout. I, th I think it's quite cute, I like it, just refocus. Thank you so much to Sandy for organising this series and putting it together. I know it is a lot of work behind the scenes that even we don't see, but that you guys who watch for inspiration don't see. So thank you to Sandy and thank you for opening it up and letting me play along. I really appreciate it. I've had an absolute blast. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to all the other creators for being awesome and being inspiring. Don't forget the playlist link down below and the Facebook group link and Sandy's link are all down below. Please do check them out and support everybody else. Give them a like, give them a comment, give them a subscribe. Every time we get that notification that somebody has subscribed or liked our videos, it really does brighten our day. So thank you to each and every one of you. I will be back later with a recap of all 29 layouts and I will be back tomorrow for day one of 30 days of sketches, round 14. Thank you so much for watching, bye for now.